deadly pileup in Fort Worth. The images are so hard to look at. This chain reaction crash involved more than 100 vehicles. As you heard, some first responders say this is one of the worst crashes they've ever responded to. And anytime we see tragedy, we see North Texans come together. Continue to share your thoughts and prayers for all the families impacted on our Facebook page. This all happened as the roads were icy. Pete's at home this evening with more chances for wintry precipitation. But we begin with Chris Lawrence live in Fort Worth with what we've learned about this crash in the last half hour. Chris. Well, Izzy, we just heard from the Fort Worth police chief who said uh, they are going to be looking at whether this road was treated properly before the crash as part of their ongoing investigation. Uh, here's the thing. We're standing below the crash site. Uh, the earth itself acts as insulation, for, for lack of a better term, but it's easy to see how that frigid air would just be cutting above and below that elevated stretch of road. I, I want to take you out now to the chopper to give you sort of a, a, a bird's eye view of what we have been seeing uh, throughout the day. Uh, this accident scene stretches more than a half a mile. It involved about 133 cars, SUVs, and several uh, 18 wheelers as well. Uh, we know that dozens of people had to be taken to the hospital and overall more than 60 people have sought medical treatment at some point today. Uh, we did just get that update from authorities here in Fort Worth. I want to get out now live to Matt Howerton. Uh, Matt, Matt, what have you learned? Well, Chris, it's a very sad uh, moment here at uh, the uh, headquarters for both Fort Worth PD and also Fort Worth Fire. MedStar was also here. They run ambulances and healthcare services here in the city. And they told us today, like you said, this is a massive event that they all had to undertake, that they had to get involved with and they had to respond to. And when you see some of the video that we've, we've discovered online on social media of people that were driving along next to this pileup, you can understand why everyone is so exhausted and so on edge after today. So that is clearly the uh, video that we were talking about. It's just a bit of video that's circulating on line right now and um, it's very hard to watch. Uh, people got into their cars today to go to work and um, they did not make it home, at least some people did. And we learned today that, that uh, the fatalities in this wreck went from five to six within the last hour or so. Uh, 911 calls started coming in around 6 a.m. when this wreck did happen. Uh, 35 were transported in all, or excuse me, 36 were transported in all to hospitals from the scene, and 65 went to hospitals on their own after the crash happened. Uh, less than 20, we're being told right now from MedStar, are still hospitalized. And as Chris said earlier, Fort Worth is looking into uh, right now uh, the possibility, or at least the investigate, they're investigating whether or not these roads were treated overnight, how well they were treated. It's all going to be part of their accident investigation. Mayor Betsy Price was here as well um, whenever she was, uh, she was a attending this evening with the uh, Fort Worth Police and Fort Worth Fire, and she asked for Fort Worth the community of Fort Worth to pray and to think of those that were involved in today's crash. Right now, we would ask you to keep all of those involved in your thoughts and in your prayers. In the days ahead, we will be posting how you can help most and what that might look like. So right now, Fort Worth PD, Fort Worth Fire, they're all assessing this mess right now uh, over there on Interstate 35, and they should be cleaning up throughout the night. It's not known when that road will reopen, and preliminary reports and, and more information as it comes out, we'll make sure to get it to you. Chris?